Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and let's start 2024 with some awesome apps that you must have on your iPhone. And we're starting with Pretty Screenshots. Now this app allows you to edit your screenshots. If you want to share them, you can make them look way better than of course just sharing a simple screenshot. Now once you have loaded the screenshot, here we'll have a few different sliders where you can set the corners of the screenshot you can set the padding as well which means that you can make the screenshot bigger or smaller and then you can enable or not a shadow and then you will have the background for that screenshot so you can see right here we can have a gradient a solid color or you can even pick your own image and add it as the background of that screenshot so there i have picked an image and you can see how cool that looks and now the screenshot of course looks much much better once you're done with all that just tap the share button and save it under the camera roll next up is a keyboard app called search and wiki now all you have to do is install the app then head on to your settings app general keyboards and add search and wiki once you have done that when you go to your keyboard you can search for anything on google or wikipedia so if i just have something typed right here all I have to do now is actually go to that keyboard. You can see it's very similar to the iOS one, to the stock one of iOS. It looks, looks almost identically the same, but it has this button, which I can tap on it. Now I'll have Google, my clipboard, and Wiki as well. So if I just tap Google, it will search for the word that it shows right there. And you can see we have here the full like website. And of course, it actually works. We can even open the links directly from here. So you get Google and Wikipedia directly on your keyboard. Clean Delete is the next app for the video. Now this app will allow you to save a ton of space on your iPhone by clearing things that you don't need to have on your iPhone, like similar photos, duplicated photos, like incomplete contacts and all that stuff. So you can see all of them right here. Now what you can do is, for example, go to similar photos and you can see it shows all the similar photos that you have. Now of course you can select the photos that you want to delete, like I can delete this one for example, or all the other ones right here. So we can select these and clear them directly from here they will have the same for the duplicates and for the contacts as well videos and also the calendars and you will have the compress section right here where you can compress videos and images so of course if you have like large files you can compress them and make them much much smaller and it also offers an act actually here a section where you can store like different things and use a passcode so you know that they are private Next up is Copilot. Now, this is a new app from Microsoft. It's basically the AI from Microsoft and just like every like AI or ChatGDP app that we have been using recently, you can go ahead and just ask anything, ask for any questions, ask to create an image and all that stuff. So you can also enable here ChatGDP4 and then you will have here like a few suggestions. And then of course you will have here a button where you can just start like asking anything you want we probably know all of us right now how these apps are working it's pretty cool it's new it has been released recently you can also use the camera here to search like for anything or use even the voice search screencast is the next app for the video now with screencast you will be able to screen mirror from your iphone to your tv you tap the connect button and it shows you all the devices that you have near you on your network right here and you can start just mirroring the screen of your iphone directly to your tv now what you can also do is cast photos cast videos and also cast from a browser directly from your iphone to your tv and you will also be able to cast youtube from your iphone to your tv as well now all these will work the same on any of the actions all you have to do is just tap on it and you will have the airplay devices right here you can simply connect to anyone where you want to cast Next up is a very simple yet very useful app called search on Reddit. Now, when you search something on Google, a lot of times you won't find the proper answer. Most of the times you will find way better answers on Reddit. Now, what this does is that it will Google for you when you ask something, but it only shows basically results from Reddit, not other Reddit, other like websites, just Reddit. So if we search here for iOS, beta tap right here and you will see the results they will be of course from google but every result will come from reddit 
BLE Finder is the next app for the video. Now this is a Bluetooth finder that allows to easily find your Bluetooth devices anytime you're at your home and you don't remember where you have put your devices. Let's say maybe your iPad or your AirPods. All you have to do is start this app and just tap here. It will scan all the Bluetooth devices near you. And it will show you a list here of all the devices. Now, of course, you can tap there and it will show you a percentage here, which indicates that how close you're to that device. Once you have found it, of course, you can tap right here and you're good to go. Now, what you will also get here is a list of your devices. You can add your devices here and then you will also have the history of the devices that you have searched and found. Maximum is the next app for the video. Now this app allows to create playlists, but it's pretty cool. So you tap right here to create a new mix and then you will have here the sources you can choose to include or exclude different sources. So let's go with all songs here. And then what we can do is tap the dumb button. Now it has actually created this playlist. Now what you can do again is tap on edit right there. And you can see we have here viewed like different options. If we move here, you will have different rules that you can add to that playlist. So if I tap on add, just like add a rule, we can go ahead and choose the total duration, for example, downloaded music only or maybe not in the library or maybe an artist or anything you want we can choose a gender so if we tap right there we can pick a gender and then just tell here what the gender is and then it will edit again that playlist or you can do this when you're creating it and it will add songs just from that gender Check Your Heart Rate is the next app for the video. It allows you to check your heart rate and it works really, really well. It's actually very simple to use. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to use it. But first of all, we have here the dashboard where you will see like your last check and you will see also here the trends. Once you have done like a few checks, you will see the trends here. So you can basically see how your heart rate has been over the the last few days and then you will have all the insights right here of course all these will be populated once you have done quite a few different heart measurements so if we tap here then this is when we can go ahead and just basically place the finger right here on the camera just cover the camera and now it will actually start monitoring your heart rate and in a few seconds you will see the result right here on the screen and then of course everything will also be like here on the history so you can know at any time what your heart rate was at a particular day and last but not least is pdf splitter it allows you to basically split pdf files you can just like split the pages or maybe even edit the pages. So here we have this PDF file. I can just go ahead and move these pages right there and I can configure them any way I want. So we have a configure button right there where we can like split. We can export it directly from here. And of course, also we can maybe like delete any pages we want and all that. You also have the plus button, which allows you to add more pages to that PDF file. So if you use PDF files a lot, this is a free app that has these cool features that might be useful to you. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps. If you want to download any of these apps, make sure you check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.